What's up video Ford Nation? This is video for Ruan with another awesome video for tutorial. So in this video we're going to be color grading our shot. So first of all let's start with the plate and then we can actually color grade that first and then we can try and match the helicopter to the plate. So I'm going to right click on my plate and I'm going to go to effects and color correction. Now here you've got quite a few uh, different effects that you can use uh, such as the brightness and contrast and you can uh, use the curves adjustment, exposure, all of these things. So first of all we're going to look at the curves effect. So just click on curves and uh, we're just going to try and give the shot a bit of contrast because it's, it looks a bit flat. So on this curves effect we're just going to draw a basic S curve. So just do something like that just to get a bit of contrast in our shot something like that and then I'm also going to add a tint effect so right click on plate again go to effect color correction and tint and as you can change from 100 to 0 percent 100 will be completely black and white and 0 percent will have no effect on that shot so it looks a bit video-ish and very colorful and very kind of bright so I'm just going to drag this up uh, let's say to around 20 that's looking uh, a little bit better and then I'm going to give it some more contrast. So let's just pull this down slightly, something like that. And yeah, that's okay for now. Okay, now we're going to add some color correction to our helicopter. So right click on your helicopter, go to effect, color correction and go to curves as well. And uh, you can actually just minimize these two effects at the top, the blur and the grain. Just click on those little triangles next to them to minimize them. And for the helicopter, we're going to also create a S curve. So just pull it down slightly and try and match it as good as possible to your footage. Okay, not too dark, something like that looks pretty good. And as you can see, the red and everything is a bit saturated on this model. So I'm gonna add a tint effect as well. So right click on the helicopter, go to effect, go to color correction and then select tint. Okay, we're gonna bring this percentage down and again, try and match it. So I'm gonna bring it down to around, around 35, 36, let's make it 35. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. And we're almost done with our basic color grading. Um, then I actually want to create a vignette around both of these shots. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create an adjustment layer. So right click, go to new and select adjustment layer and make sure that adjustment layer is above all your other layers because an adjustment layer will actually affect everything below it. So let's rename that adjustment layer. So I'm gonna click on it, press enter and I'm gonna call it vignette. So what we want to do is we want to create an ellipse mask on that layer. So right here at the top where you have your masks, I'm going to click on hold and then I'm going to select the ellipse tool and make sure that you've yet layer selected and then you're going to double click on that ellipse and it will create an ellipse in that window. Okay, and then I'm going to right click on vignette and I'm going to go to effect and I'm going to go to color correction and to curves and then I'm just going to pull it down to make it darker. Obviously, we want to affect the outside area of the mask, so we need to invert our mask. So the mask under vignette, just click on it, and then next to it, there's an invert button. So just click that, and you'll see that it will actually invert the mask so that we're only affecting the outside area. Okay, obviously, we need to feather this mask quite a bit because you can see some very hard edges in here. So we're going to expand the mask, and let's change the feather amount to around 250. Okay, as you can see, that's looking much better. You don't have those hard lines anymore. And if we just switch this layer on and off, you can see the difference that the vignette's giving us. So let's just enable it. And then you can play with the darkness of this vignette. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit so it's not that dark. Maybe something like that. Okay, I'm just going to RAM preview this. So I'm pressing zero on my keyboard. And I'm just going to fast forward through this rendering process. Okay, so there we have a preview. It's looking pretty cool. As you can see, I only rendered the first section of my timeline because of that little slowdown at the end, which is a bit weird. But as you can see, the color grading is looking cool. The vignette is actually working. Uh, we've got some noise on the helicopter if you look really closely and a bit of noise in our footage as well. Obviously, that's from the camera. So all in all, it's looking cool. Um, yeah, so that's your final shot. And using this technique that we followed uh, during the course, you can create so many different possibilities in the visual effects world. You can create any object and then integrate that into a live action scene, have your shadows interacting with your live footage, all of that. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And in the next video, we're gonna be looking at how to render this out. Also remember to check out video4.com, your number one source for stock footage. I'll see you guys in the next video.